Kidneys play a really, really important role in our bodies as well as the bodies of our cats. In, in short, what they do is they rid the body of toxins that otherwise would accumulate and cause disease. To understand kidney disease, let's take a look at how the kidneys work. Healthy kidneys are walnut-sized organs located in your cat's abdomen, just below the spine. Their main role is to filter excess fluid and toxic waste products from the body into the urine. Inside the normal kidney are thousands of filtration units known as nephrons. As the heart pumps blood into the kidneys, fluid, waste products, and salts, known as electrolytes, are carried to the kidneys from other areas of the body. Inside the nephrons, these are filtered from the blood. This filtered fluid then moves through a system of tubules. In the tubules, some fluid and electrolytes are absorbed back into the blood to maintain normal levels in the body. Meanwhile, excess fluids, electrolytes, and harmful toxic waste products are collected into the urine for excretion. In kidney disease, these filtering and absorption mechanisms fail. If too many nephrons are injured, body fluids and some electrolytes become depleted and toxins begin to accumulate, causing outward signs of illness. If the loss of normal function happens quickly, it's referred to as acute kidney disease. Acute kidney disease is caused by sudden events that injure the kidneys, for example, a cat ingesting toxic antifreeze from a car, a blood clot forming in the kidney, a bacterial infection in the kidney, or mineralized stones blocking urination. Acute kidney disease can strike at any age. Fortunately, if it's diagnosed and treated promptly, the damage to the kidneys can often be reversed. Loss of kidney function can also occur gradually over a long period of time. In this case, it's referred to as chronic kidney disease. This is the most common form of kidney disease in middle-aged and older cats. The exact cause of chronic kidney disease remains a mystery, but what we do know is that most cats with this disease develop scar tissue that slowly replaces the healthy nephrons. Over time, this scar tissue builds up. Although the process of scar tissue formation is very slow, the signs of kidney disease often appear to come on suddenly. This is because the kidneys have a large reserve capacity. But once two-thirds of the nephrons have been damaged, the cat will begin to show outward signs of illness. Chronic kidney disease tends to progress, uh, perhaps from little to no clinical signs at all, to quite severe signs. One of the first signs that people tend to notice is excessive drinking and urination. Excessive drinking and urination happens when damaged nephrons fail to reabsorb water back into the bloodstream, resulting in increased urination. To make up for the fluid loss, cats will drink more water. As the kidney disease progresses, what we often see are gastrointestinal signs. These signs can include nausea, vomiting, decreased appetite, and weight loss. When too many nephrons become damaged, toxic waste products are no longer properly filtered from your cat's blood. These toxins act like poisons, making your cat feel sick. As chronic kidney disease progresses, the cats become lethargic, less apt to run around to play. They kind of lie around and are just kind of weak. The weakness and lethargy can come from anemia. Anemia happens when the diseased kidneys don't produce enough erythropoietin, a hormone that helps the body make red blood cells. Red blood cells carry oxygen, and when your cat doesn't have enough red blood cells, he'll feel tired and weak. We don't really know why chronic kidney disease happens or why it progresses, and so we don't have a cure for it yet. But what we do have is a way to prevent progression in some cases, or at least in many cases, slow down the progression so that we can help cats live with a good quality of life for months and sometimes years after they're diagnosed.